Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Battery. Wireless module. Solid state drive. Audio board. Left rear speaker. Large fan. And small fan. Removal. Caution. The area of the system board with the RTC battery and right front speaker connectors is easily broken. Use your finger to brace this area when disconnecting those connectors. Disconnect the RTC battery cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the right front speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the right rear speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the left front speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touch pad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touch pad board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the two 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Remove the 1.5mm P0 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins and remove it from under the lip on the top cover. Replacement Note: Before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink Important. Make careful note of the placement of the mylar shielding on the old system board and place a new strip of mylar shielding in the same position on the new system board. Tow the system board under the lip on the top cover and lower the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Caution. To avoid damage, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the 1.5mm P0 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Replace the two 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the left front speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the right rear speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the right front speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the RTC battery cable into its connector on the system board. Important. After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings. <laughs>